This Singapore man is being online shamed for abusing a hotel staff in Bintang. But here's an exclusive info of what really happened because there was violence involved here. Here's everything about this viral TikTok video of a man scolding a hotel staff in Bintang. Don't the CC if you think I sound like the man idiot. So, so, uh, so, this entire saga started uh, due to a few videos uh, that went viral because it shows a man uh, who has a Singaporean accent uh, scolding a hotel staff who was nodding and apologizing. Uh. Okay, uh, the key video that went viral uh, is over 3 minutes, uh, which in the world of TikTok uh, is like the whole series uh, of days of our lives. Eh. Super, super, super long. Now, remember this, because uh, this is actually very important. So in the video, uh, the Singapore man uh, is seen scolding the hotel staff, who looks like he's been bullied. Uh. In the conversation, uh, the man isn't trying to solve any problem. Uh. All he did uh, was to vomit out his frustration. You know, kind of like how your wife uh, will vomit out what happened uh, during her work day uh, when she came back. Uh. No solution, uh, just vomit only. Nah, babe, today uh, I know more about her boss uh, than I know about my boss. Uh. But anyways, uh, anyways, uh, he was scolding the hotel staff for waking him up uh, at 3am. Because uh, uh, he had a hanger, do not disturb sign outside his door. But the caption says something along the line of him abusing the hotel staff due to his mother getting lost at night. So uh, with me having only 3 seconds to watch uh, before I move on to the next video uh, about Toin Frog, uh, thank you sir. My stupid mind uh, immediately came to a conclusion. Uh. The man is angry uh, because he's been working out at 3am because the hotel staff uh, told him that his mom is lost. Why oh, I hear you're uh, angry, uh, angry. Uh. Then uh, okay, uh, I continue to watch because uh, I've just eaten 6 gohyong, uh, so I got nothing to do. Uh. And the video, uh, the guy was really really angry uh, and then just kept on complaining uh, about the 3am wake up calls. Uh. Oh, the welfare, eh? Well, here I angry, I angry. Like any sane cat, I posted a comment on the video because I want to show my anger. Ma. Confirm not because I want to show I'm a good cat. Like. <laughs> I'm a good cat, I'm a good cat. Then I decided to watch one more video, the explanation video. In the video, it appears to be a message sent from the hotel to all the guests. But I tell you, I spent 5 seconds to know that it's actually from the hotel, not from some random cat right, that just saw the incident when it walked past the hotel. In the TikTok world, 5 seconds to think is a having to write 5 hours of dictation in primary school. What wow, don't stress, I must memorize. So it's revealed that he had gone to the hotel with his family and his parents. His mother somehow left her room and then I was knocking on another guest room. The guest called the staff who then lead the mother back to her room at 3am. They then decided to look for the man to tell him about it in case his mother went out again. Then Naomi knew show me her big house. That made me feel like, hey, hey, sorry, sorry, I scroll away. Sorry, too boring, too long. Sorry, I scroll back your way. Your way, sorry, sorry, sorry. But he got aggressive instead, uh, claiming uh, he had put the do not disturb sign at the door. He, uh, according to the hotel, uh, started to use fire and shouted like a cell lung, uh, waking everyone up. Yeah, that's the idea. Uh. Now, nah, before anything, uh, I ask you, I ask you, I ask you. Most of us uh, have exhausted our efforts uh, in the day of work or studies. So at night, right, obviously when we go TikTok, right, we don't want to think, right, because the human body uh, is actually programmed uh, to do things uh, with the least effort one, uh, so as to preserve energy uh, in case danger appears uh, in the next minute. Lazy la. So uh, it's normal for us uh, to just let this narrative uh, bring our mind up. Uh, I don't know what the truth is. Uh, however, uh, there's actually a Google review uh, of the hotel uh, that talks about the exact same event. Eh. The reviewer uh, said that it was the owner of the hotel uh, who knocked the door uh, at 3 a.m. And he was, uh, I quote, uh, playing rude, arrogant, and unpoetic. So uh, the viral incident happened in the morning. And he said in the review uh, that he had wanted to check out. But he claimed uh, the owner got aggressive set his phone away and even threatened to punch him here. And uh, worse, uh, he said the owner ordered security to chase them out uh, by manhandling him. Uh, wah, wah, wah. But I ask you, uh, I ask you, uh, out of the 500,000 people who watched the video, uh, 499999999999 have hated the man and moved on to watch Naomi News house tour. One person uh, decided to find out more uh, and maybe saw the Google review. So what can we do? Eh? Simple. Uh, cut down or don't use social media. Uh. Xiao man, then what can we do after work every day? Uh, maybe just hang out with real friends and family members? Never mind, we talk to ChatGPT. Okay, but seriously, we need to know about the effect. You can watch this video to know more about the effect. And also subscribe to this channel if you're watching this at 3am.